Hello dear traders, welcome back here one more time with Rick Muñoz in Lion Bull Academy. Today I have a very interesting video. We're gonna discuss about three different portfolio. Each portfolio gonna have just one uh, ETF, okay? And it's three different ways to see the market. One is based on dividends. The other is the normal market, you can say, the normal movement of the market. And the last one is a more risky portfolio more risky ETF so let's begin with the first one we're talking the first um, ETF we will use will be the QILD I love this one for the long term really if I want to uh, make it um, my pension plan I think this one will be one of the important factor I will have it for the long time the most is when I already make the money I wanted with other uh, stocks, I will put that money inside this ETF for already start get my monthly dividend income. Okay, let's say we start right now for 10 years only and we start with a small amount of money. We have not too much, so we need to start with what we have right now. Let's say we have a job, we cannot put too much inside, we have a family and everything and need to take care or have a debts uh, like I have in this moment. Then you try to um, still start make your investment let's say we buy 100 shares of this etf every share costs 16.84 dollars is mean gonna be around 1684 dollar for buy this first 100 share this um, etf give us a 16.82 percent of dividend yield at the moment okay it's one um, instrument that doesn't grow really too much but also doesn't fa fall too much if we don't count what is happening right now with the war but i think this will correct it very soon so every year we will also add 1200 dollars we will put them monthly but in this example we say we put at the end of the year 1200 dollars I already put a dividend tax rate of 30 percent like example if we are in toro is what itoro take it from us and I put that I doesn't expect that the dividend yield will increase or that the stock will increase in value. I just put that them in zero. Uh, the first year we will have in us account 3098. It will be the 1684 plus 1200 plus the dividend there will be 283.25. And at the end of the 10 years, we will have $27,390. And we will earn each year 3907 at the end of the 10 years. From there, if we start to take a salary, we will earn 3907 already without the tax. Okay. Take it away, 30% tax to take it away. Not bad. It's a nice yeah if you have not too much money and this is really great beginning and you know that you have each month that dividend if you reinvest in the right moments when the market is down and you every month put this hundred dollars so you even can have a better performance i think okay that's one idea for one um portfolio you think yeah but i have only one um, etf yeah, but this ETF inside have the 100 stocks of the NASDAQ. So really, your portfolio is enough diversified, if we're looking in that sense. It's about the covered call, what he have it, but still are 100 different stocks inside. So this keep in mind, it's already, I think, enough um, diversified. The next we're going to look in, it's the... QQQ. The QQQ is just an ETF that follow the movement of the Nasdaq 100. Yes, because I don't want to buy each stock separate. I just buy this ETF and already have in that packet this 100 stock. He will take care of me when some stock go out and come a new one. The ETF will do it all of this alone. I don't need to take care of this one. If we compare and the, from 2014 then was created the QILD and the QQQ, we can see just in growth of the value of the stock, it's a big difference. The QQQ in the from 2014 till now grow at 235.57% and the QLD lose at 32.77%. It's also because 
this war. So I will think he will lose a little bit less. Maybe we stay around 10%. But this is what is happened. So if we just consider it, that we just want to put our initial deposit and leave it for 10 years, the QQQ is a better option. But if we want monthly income, then QILD is still enough good for that purpose. So if we are like me, example, still young, and you want to first grow your money for after put them in a dividend portfolio, can be the QLD, or next days we're going to make one uh, portfolio that give us monthly income from different uh, stocks. Okay, It's not so diversified like QILD because have 100 stock inside, but still a good option. Remember, QILD is based on the... Um, calls okay it's not really the stocks himself like qqq this also keep that in mind so let's continue if we take the qqq and we do similar um, way of growth let's say we try to do the same stuff we buy four share of this stock of this etf uh, each it, each um, price of share is 295.17 so let's say four Say 1,200 around that one will be let's say 1,200 dollars plus 1,200 dollars each year. We expect to have an annual share price um, growth of 10% a year, and we want to invest in for 10 years. Uh, let's take this to a 15% instead of 30. Okay, so the first year we will have 2,505 and at the end of the 10 year we will have 22,572 but as dividend will be almost nothing, 51.81 dollars a year. My dividend is not so good but we can take after 10 years this money and put inside of dividend stocks and like this earn um, better as earn more from us um, money i just put 10 years remember 10 years is really not so long term but this is what we try to this what we try to show what we can do in this 10 year time it's not bad how is grow the money remember here completely grow is not like you lose in the appreciation of your um, of your stock of your share because if you buy qild at the moment is down so we, you will earn in dividends but you will lose in value of your money so this you have to keep in mind if your interest is to grow first your money your initial your capital and then after get dividend income now let's go to uh, one more risky and we're talking about the tqqq the personally is one of my favorite because of his performance yeah everybody say that in the long run need to be careful you never know what's gonna happen in the future yeah but numbers show to us at the moment for the um, last 60 year american market is growing very stronger until now i don't see why don't have to continue be like that at the moment we still expecting that the price will continue to rise. If something happens that will change, when I arrive at that moment, you can always pull out your investment and go to another different and continue doing the same stuff. So let's say we buy 50 shares of the price of each share is 26.68. So half of that one uh, will be $1,300 plus a contribution of $1,200 a year. We expected a 30% growth a year after I want to explain why I find that number. And we also put the dividend tax of 30%. So first year we're going to have 2,934. But at the end of the year, number 10, we will get 69,533. You can see here now, yes, yeah, a little bit more risky, but in 10 years can give you already, um, let's say, enough capital that you can start good at dividend portfolio for start already make some income from there for start use it like your pension an example in just 10 years already grow like that i also make here one more um, compound interest calculator i just put initial deposit of one thousand dollars thirty percent a year ten years 
hundred monthly I make it the he count at the end of the year in the compound uh, I will get seventy three thousand two hundred forty if we take it away the thirteen thousand in third year that we invested will be sixty thousand two hundred forty point zero five that will be the amount of money we will earn in ten years already for start a dividend um, income portfolio sixty thousand is a nice number so you just need to spend ten years of your life working for it now where I find this number why thirty percent why ten the QQQ now I will show you uh, here I make a study of what happened in the past 10 years of the performance of the market. So from 2011 to 2021, um, TQQQ only going red two times. One was a 7% minus and the other was a 19.65% minus. So that was the only two years that you will have really losses in your portfolio. Really not losses because if you reinvest each month, that's a great um, timing for increase uh, the value of your for buy more shares let's let's be honest for this one for increase the value the power of your money the qqq have just one day in red and it's 0.14 percent only and the rest one are in green so i make the average of each one of this one so the tqq have an average of 63 percent a year so if he continue make similar performance we will get a 63% yearly um, increase of us portfolio. 63% is really something you need to keep in mind. From here, I will just use half of it for make us steady of us future performance. The QQQ will be a 21% yearly, and we just use only a 10%, the half only, for make this... Um, prediction of how much will grow as portfolio so you can see by my point of view personally my you can do whatever you want to remember i am not a financial advisor you this is only for uh, entertain and for explain what i'm doing myself what i'm start doing so i will spend the 10 years of my life doing this stuff exactly and waiting for this kind of performance Personally, I go, how I say, to the TQQQ, will be the most of the money I will invest is gonna go there, and a little bit to QQQ, or if I don't want to um, be exposed to the same NASDAQ, I can go to the SP500, who have different 500 stock, so will be already more and more uh, diversified portfolio, and also I will show in the next videos one portfolio for only dividend income, so how much money, like say with $10,000, which stocks you need to buy for get monthly income each month from different stocks also this one we're gonna do it but this was everything for today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you understand these three different portfolio the portfolio of dividends if you start right now with small amount of money that's what you can much can earn in 10 years you can go to uh 27,319 and after get a salary of three thousand nine hundred dollars you can go to the QQQ and earn in one year 22,572. And then use that money for put it inside of a dividend um, stocks or dividend ETF. And from there, start earn each month already your portfolio, your um, salary. Or you can go more risky and try to put that money inside of the TQQQ and earn after 10 years around 69,533 in this situation. And then use that money for after put in your long term dividend stocks uh, portfolio. That's uh, different ways to achieve your goal. And some are more faster, some are more slow, some are more risky, and some are more safe. That's all for today. And see you next time. Ciao, guys.